Hello, younglings. My friend Andrew asked me if children can eat mushrooms. Eat? They are much more than that. Stay with me to hear it. I found that thing about food very strange, because I don't perceive mushrooms just as food. They are special to me. But I was curious. And for Andrew's sake, I did some research on the internet and mostly saw that you humans divide mushrooms into edible and poisonous ones. I even found information that children should not eat mushrooms until about the age of 12, because they lack that, what's it called? Yes, the digestive enzyme. That means besides the fact that some mushrooms have a lot of nutrients for humans, you need something in your belly to convert it into energy that you then use. Now we come to why mushrooms are important to me in nature. I call them my cleaners. Mushrooms are actually very useful when the natural cycle of a tree ends and it retains a large amount of energy. Then mushrooms convert that energy into new form. And that's why mushrooms are special to me and I love them a lot. I even have one on my head that warns me about the amount of energy I need. You would call that perhaps some kind of antenna? Am I right? No, who said that? Yes, what do you say? So it's like a battery? No, it's like a magic storage. W what? Still not clear. All right, I'll try to explain it better through the story about bioluminescent mushrooms. Yes, you heard right, bioluminous. First question for you. Why would mushrooms glow in the dark? What? So we forest beings see better. Well, it depends. Maybe that's the case, but it's not the main reason. Listen now. There's one mushroom that glows the brightest, and it's called bitter oyster mushroom. During the day, it's beige, and at night it glows to attract various insects that are drawn to light. Yes, a mushroom can do that. It attracts insects that walk on it and shake it. It does that so the spores, which are used for reproduction, fall off. You don't know what spores are. Yes, you don't know because they are so small they cannot be seen. Spores are like dust that, when it falls on the ground, will grow into a new bioluminescent mushroom. Is it clearer now? Yes, good. So, to summarize about the bioluminescent mushrooms, they glow to survive and continue life in a new cycle. Isn't that interesting? Yes! Excellent! Now, I would introduce you to some other species. There is a fungus called the honey fungus that glows only in the mycelium. It can be found in Asia, North America, and Europe, and people most commonly observe it in Michigan, where there are many enthusiasts of this fungus, but only for observation. It is not edible. The next interesting fungus is the green pepe, which is brightest when it is one day old and when the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius, 82 Fahrenheit. What a lady! It can be found on the Bonin Islands near Japan. What? Is that too far for you to imagine? Well, now I will show you a picture of what it looks like. They look like forest lights? Yes, they are beautiful. There are also two more beautiful fungi that can be found in Great Britain and Ireland called Mycena pura and Mycena rosea, which also glow in the mycelium. And now something that might be very interesting to you, and it's not scary. Please, you're afraid but there's no reason to be afraid of the ghost fungus. It's not a real ghost, it's just named that way because of its appearance. Because when it glows at night, it looks like some kind of ghost. It can be found in Australia. During the day, it looks like a completely ordinary fungus. Its color is cream, sometimes a bit orange, and sometimes it is even purple. Interesting. Now tell me, have you learned something new? Yes, excellent. What? You didn't learn which fungi to eat and which not. Do not eat mushrooms until you're 12 years old. Just enjoy and observe them. And now I will tell you that I also learned a lot from this research on fungi. I'm glad Andrew asked this question. For us forest beings, the Earth is something else than for you. You can observe everything much wider and better than we can. And we are tied to this very small space where we live. However, we have something else. You heard that I mentioned mycelium several times, and no one asked me what it is. I assumed you knew. No? Let me share something with you that I studied, and in the end is very interesting. I found it strange how this phone works, and how I can even see something happening millions of bare feet away from this very place. When I researched, 
I found out that everything is connected by the internet and that the internet is a network that can enable this. Thus, each device is connected and the question is only a matter of choice of how one can reach another. That's probably clear to you, but do you also understand that we can have a similar connection through the soil? No? Are you surprised? Well, you have the internet and we have mycelium. Yes, so we can also have knowledge that is also millions of bare feet away. The only difference is, we can't see them, we can only feel them. When they overwhelm us, we know how to follow those feelings. Something similar to what you call, listen to your heart, or follow your instinct. Just a bit different. And there's another difference between your internet and our mycelium. A large oak tree can send food and energy through mycelium to a young oak growing nearby. And you can't do that over the internet. I once tried, you can order food over the internet, but then someone supposedly brings it to you. I once tried to order some hazelnuts, but they still haven't arrived. So that was the story about glowing mushrooms and mycelium, which is the connection between those mushrooms and the rest of the world. Feel free to write to me via email if you have any questions you don't know the answer to, and we will explore. But also come to the forest, walk and explore with your parents, all right, goodbye and see you. Yours truly, Troll Mitros. Naturally.